look like I've been crying? A little bit. Yes. Have I been crying? A little bit. Yes. Today has been so stressful on top of all of the things that I'm doing right now. Nothing is working and I have like three essays that need to be uploaded by tonight before 11 o'clock and the internet is not working. Here or anywhere else apparently. So I dressed up in all of the purple things I could find to try and make myself feel a bit better. Am I already angry at everything? Yes. Should I be reading things that make me angrier? F*** you. No, probably not, but here we are. Hello friends, it's Unicorn Princess and today I thought I would read to you some standard regular Lolita hate. So, there was this video circling Facebook of Misako Aoki, the kawaii ambassador, uh, Lolita model for Angelic Pretty and many other brands who is awesome. If you don't know who she is, please check her out. Uh, and it was just about her wearing Lolita and what Lolita means to her and yada yada, all that stuff. And I was reading the comments. One of the first comments just sent me into an absolute flurry of total rage because it doesn't seem to matter how many years of this fashion pass in the West, there are still people all over the place that are just fucking idiots, let's be honest. <sighs> so I have been dressing in Lolita since I was about 20. So how long is that? Like very almost eight years. So it's, it's quite a long time. And I continue to see and hear the exact same comments from people over and over again and it just blows my mind. I do not understand where people come up with this crap. So I'm just gonna read to you some of the comments made on this video of Misako by people who clearly don't understand what Lolita is but they're also not interested in understanding it. They obviously just want to be mad at it because they don't like it for whatever reason. Okay so I'm obviously I'm not gonna name any names. I just took some screenshots of the best ones. So this guy says fashion for those who have no career prospects or those who have their head in the clouds. So I, I just need to process a couple of things here. Somebody thinks that by looking at the way you dress, they can tell how you think or how your career prospects are. That makes zero sense. Zero. And let's just analyze it a little bit further. Misako, who the video was about, is a nurse. She is a fully qualified nurse. So as far as career prospects go, pretty high and pretty noble, I feel. And the whole head in the clouds thing, just because you wear things that are kind of whimsical and fantasy-like doesn't mean that you don't have any sense in your brain. I don't know where this idea comes from, that if you like cute, frilly things, it means that you're not sensible or you're not capable of, you know, intelligent thought. It's just a ridiculous line of thinking that makes absolutely no sense. If you saw somebody who wore red t-shirts every day, would you think that because of what they were wearing it meant that they, they couldn't do maths? Those people wear red t-shirts, they obviously can't do maths. Do you see how little sense that makes? You're just linking two completely random things and shoving them together. Okay, next. So somebody here, a woman, says, this obsession of looking like little girls in Japan is quite disturbing, to be honest. Let's unpack that, shall we? Let me just ask you, where have you seen little girls wearing this? Where? Especially in their day-to-day -day life, in their regular day lives, little girls wear what little boys do and wear what pretty much everybody else does which is normally jeans and a t-shirt because everybody knows the little kids like to roll around the ground and climb trees and get grubby and spill their food all over themselves. Nobody wants to be spilling food all over this so little girls do not dress like this anywhere. And let's be real here for a second. Lolitas don't tend to wear this in their workplace or their place of education a lot of the time everywhere else has a uniform this is a leisure outfit this is what we wear on our day off 
just like anybody else would wear whatever they want on their day off. Let me just hop on and say that this is expensive. Like, really expensive. Hence why I always buy second hand. Because it's, I mean, who has the money to buy this brand new? If you do, good on you. <laughs> but this is expensive. Nobody in their right mind is going to dress a little girl in Lolita. It's ridiculous. This one just makes me kind of sad, honestly. It's another woman. Says, Women need to demonstrate their power by their accomplishments. Dressing like a child is counter to this. Who would hire someone who looks like this? I can't imagine this woman arguing a case in court, teaching a classroom, administering medical treatment, or anything else dressed like this. I don't get it. No, clearly you don't. First of all, your first line, women need to demonstrate their power by their accomplishments. Excuse me? Did you just tell 50% of the entire planet how you think they should demonstrate their power? I actually feel like a grown woman deciding that she can dress however she likes is a pretty small step in demonstrating her own power, don't you think? So can we just agree that no one person can decide how anybody should be demonstrating their power. Freedom of choice is a massive demonstration of power. Being able to choose what you want to do and then doing it is a huge demonstration of power and control over your own life. Again, dressing like a child, everything I just said. When she talks about who would hire somebody dressed like this, it really depends on the context. If you're talking about hiring somebody to work in a restaurant, or in an office, it's not practical business wear, but it is not designed to be practical business wear, just like a wedding dress is not designed as practical business wear. It has a specific place and a specific time, just like all modes of dress. That's how clothing works. That's how fashion works. You wouldn't, for example, wear Prada shoes to the gym. Even if they happen to be trainers, I don't even know if Prada do trainers, but if they do, I don't imagine that you would wear them to work out in. That's not super practical. Just like you don't wear ski trousers to the pool, and you don't wear your swimming suit to the office, and again, when she talks about not being able to imagine somebody wearing this administering medicine, Isako is a nurse, and she wears scrubs like everybody else does when she's working like people do when they're at work. And then when she's doing her other job, which happens to be very successfully modeling for a whole bunch of companies, she does actually wear this. So, <sighs> gonna calm down. There's no need for me to be quite so angry. I just get very frustrated at the shallow level of thinking. I don't understand why people don't do their own research about things before they want to have a discussion about it. If you don't know what something is and you're curious about it, ask questions or do your own research. Don't just assume stuff and chuck it in there. That's, it's just, I don't understand why anybody does that. Okay, so there was this one guy who said many things and I just, I thought he must be a, like a kid, like a, a 12 year old troll, but alas, he was not. He is a, a grown man, like an, an older gentleman in fact. He's responding to somebody. He says, you're not a deep thinker, are you? Why would I dress up like a 13 year old sex abuse victim? I, I'm not even sure where to start, but how do you make all of those assumptions about a girl in a dress? I mean, those crazy leaps in... I was gonna say logic, but there is no logic to that. The fact that the first thing you think of when you look at something like this is sex says much more about you than it does about us. The same guy replying to somebody says, you're the only one who gets it. Acting like a cute toy betrays who you are as a person. They are diminishing themselves and calling it cute. It's soul-destroying. It's like talking to alcoholics. 
Uh, nobody is acting like a cute toy. I'm not sure where that comes from. Is it because we like cute things? Because if you like Spider-Man and you wear a Spider-Man t-shirt, does that mean you're trying to be Spider-Man? I don't think so. I don't think you would jump to that conclusion with anybody else either. What does it mean it betrays who you are as a person? It shows that you like cute things? It shows that you're a fan of Victorian French Rococo inspired dress that, by the way, all women once dressed in, at least this side of the world some time ago. History? Anyone? The fact that so many people look at Lolita and assume that it's a fetish or assume that you're dressing for someone. There's a huge assumption right there. People think that you are dressing to impress someone, to get attention from the opposite sex, to get a reaction out of people, to get attention. All of those things are huge assumptions that you could be, and most likely are, totally wrong about. It's in the same line of thinking as a girl wearing a miniskirt who gets uh, sexually harassed or raped after being at a nightclub was asking for it because she was wearing a mini skirt. Did you see this news thing? I, if I can find it, I'll put a clipping up of it somewhere. A teenage girl who was raped is having what kind of underwear she was wearing used against her in court. Do you know why? Because she was wearing a lace front thong. So they're suggesting that because she was wearing a lace front thong, that that means that she wanted the sexual attention. I can't believe that we are in the 21st century and we are still willing to believe that somebody who is abused or attacked was asking for it because of what they are wearing. No one person's choice to wear a garment or not wear a garment can make someone hurt them. So the next time you see a Lolita, or a goth, or a punk, or a preppy kid, or somebody in cosplay, and you look at them and you think, huh, that outfit says to me that they really want me to grab their ass. If you see anybody and those thoughts pop into your head, think again. If anybody wants you to do anything, they should tell you. Any regular person wearing any plethora of clothing does not give you the right to assume anything about them. And even if you do assume something about them, do not act on your assumptions. Okay, so at one point in the video, uh, Misako talks about how Lolita makes her feel confident and that it makes her feel beautiful. I agree with her sentiment. We all do things to make us feel confident. We all do things to help us feel brave. It's completely, totally normal. This person makes this comment. I think it's sad that she needs that to feel self-confident, like her life depends on it. I would want to become stronger and be able to choose what I want to wear and not be conditioned by a dress. She is beautiful just as she is with any clothes. I don't think this comment is intended to be particularly unkind, but it just comes from a place again that just does not understand. Isako is not saying she needs the dress to feel confident. Just like that's not what I'm saying. We are not conditioned by our clothing to feel confident only when we're wearing it. It's simply that for a lot of people it helps them feel a bit braver, come out of our shells a bit, just like any other type of confidence booster, which everybody has. Nobody is dependent on it, and the odd one or two people that might be dependent on it, who I'll say I have never met before, uh, that's maybe a separate issue entirely that is to do with confidence. She says she wants to become stronger and be able to choose to dress how she wants. There is exactly the point you're missing. This is the choice, the strength to do what you want especially in a world that is so judgmental, is the strength. When you get up in the morning and you decide that you want to wear Lolita that day, 
<clears throat> there's a couple of things that you know you're going to have to be okay with. People are going to stare at you, some people are probably going to ridicule you, and you still choose to go out there and wear it anyway. That is brave. That is strong. When you choose to be a way that makes you stand out from the crowd, you're going to be noticeable and some people are going to be horrible about it. But you still decide to do it anyway. That is the strength. Anyone who does anything that makes them stand out knows that it means that you have to be stronger as a person. My main last point about empowerment, female, male or otherwise, there is no one way to display your power. So anybody saying to you, you need to appear strong and this is the opposite of that. I'm sorry, that is a huge load of bullshit. Showing your freedom to choose, to do whatever you want to do, is power. Showing that you are going to do what you want and go against the grain, even though you know that you're going to meet conflict and difficulty, is power. Knowing that you're going to be doing a thing that you believe is right, that other people are not going to understand and they're going to fight you for it, because they don't even know what they're talking about and they're not willing to learn, you still going out there and doing that, that is power. So to all of my people expressing alternative fashion as part of their life, to all of the people who are being themselves despite backlash from every other corner of the world, to my people who are showing their love for something and having the world throw abuse at them for it, keep being you. Keep doing it. Keep expressing your own personal power by sticking to that choice. Because nobody can make you stop. Nobody can take this away from you. People can be ignorant and people can hurl abuse. And you know what? That makes me really sad. But they can't stop you. <laughs> and to the people who would be those people who see something different, something foreign, and their first decision is to jump on and say how much they hate it, or how wrong it is, or how sexually inappropriate it is. Please, please, I am pleading with you. Do some research, or ask some questions. Do not assume that you understand. Do not assume that you know what any of this is about, because I can almost 100% of the time guarantee you that you don't. If you are interested, please just ask questions. Maybe just a quick point to clarify that when you're looking up Lolita fashion, look for Lolita fashion because there is a book that shares the word Lolita, but it is Russian and Lolita is Japanese. They were written in two completely different centuries and they're often confused just because of the word for some reason, but they have nothing to do with each other. So if you're gonna look up Lolita, look up Lolita fashion. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop ranting about this now because I could rant all day every day and I will make other videos like this, I am certain of it. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a little comment down below and let me know if you would like to see more Lolita fashion truth stuff. So you guys, please give this video a like, a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell thing, check out my Patreon in the links below. I release videos almost every weekend and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Love.